Oh, no walkouts yet, but thousands of grocery workers have voted to authorize a strike. With more on this dispute and how it could affect already high grocery prices, we're going to go to Mario Ramirez. He is live in Monterey Park with more. Mario, good morning. Good morning, Tony Aroxia. As U.S. food prices continue to go up, workers are calling on big corporations that have been posting record profits to offer more. And we're talking about grocery stores like the Kroger-owned Ralph's, Vons, Pavilions, and Albertson stores, where workers have now authorized a strike. The vote from around 48,000 workers represented by the United Food and Commercial Workers Union were eligible to cast their ballots authorizing that strike. And it gives the union the power to call for a strike if progress isn't made during a negotiation. It doesn't mean that a strike is going to happen just yet. Negotiations that started earlier this month after a three-year labor contract expired. Union officials are asking for a $5 an hour wage hike, increased safety measures, and adequate scheduling in hours. But according to the union, the grocery stores are only offering a $0.60 cent per hour increase, less than 1%. And most of the local shoppers we spoke to this morning in Monterey Park say they support the workers, even if it means prices slightly going up if a strike is called. It is a lot already, like even for me, I do meal preps. Um, it's going up right now, but honestly, if it goes up for like the workers, like the pay, it'll be good for them to go up because it is hard right now. Everything has increased. Gasoline, food, everything is expensive now. So the workers, perhaps they don't have enough money to buy their own things. We all have to give. We have to give a little bit, even for our fellow people. And Ralph's is a great market. And if they have to do it, the employees need more, I support them. Ralph's released a statement reading in part, the company is offering a full-time cashier with five years experience a pay raise of nearly 9% over the life of the contract. The union proposal seeks a more than 20% increase. This is a non-starter and would lead to $400 more in grocery bills annually for the typical Southern California. Meanwhile, Ralph's says it pays an average hourly rate for its employees of $19. Negotiations are set to resume this Wednesday. Live in Monterey Park, back to you in the studio. All right, Mario, thank you for the update.